King's Secret. With a newfound recognition of purpose, I started my life at the castle. A tailor was assigned to make an outfit befitting my jester dome. Following my directions in a choice of fabric colors, from the brightest of reds to represent my unique abilities in the right manner. In a whimsical cap with three downward horns, completed my excellent costume. A modest room was granted to me, as I didn't have a need for an accommodation any bigger. It would be too much of an empty space for my comfort. They knew me so well. I was elated enough to have something to call my own. All I needed was a cot and a small table, exactly the effects that were given to me. I would roam the castle's grounds, familiarizing with its surroundings, get to know the nobles without engaging in conversation at times, just observing, learning from afar, listening in on their little chit chats. Please do not call it eavesdropping, my dear. I was following a righteous cause, a professional collecting the material for my craft. I wasn't just being nosy, no way. How is it uncouth to be willing to always gain knowledge, to elevate your artistry, take it to a further height, whether it is by overhearing personal secrets, it is a virtuous act, unlike others who are slacking even during their hours of labor. But here I am, dedicating my whole time, my whole existence to my craft. If not honorable, my friend, I don't know what else to call it. I kept on performing on festive nights as ordered by my lovely king, making him proud, making the court gratified. They were loving it each time more and more. My popularity was increasing, but I wasn't fulfilled anymore. It wasn't the same as my first thrilling foray into humor. I was not feeling whole, my friend, not appearing myself complete. I was chasing the same initial sensation I'd experienced, yet was unable to reach it. Those measly laughs were not enough for me. I needed more renown, more praise, more of something else. A hair ring, possibly, a knighthood, perhaps. I was the best storyteller in the whole kingdom. God only knows if there was anybody else to match my talent in the outer lands and foreign kingdoms. Don't you think I deserve more? With every passing day, I started seeing strange things, noticing peculiar details. How all the nobles behaved, the airs that they put on, how they would shift their speech or tone, depending on their counterpart conversationalist. Everyone was wearing a mask, playing a role far from the stage in their daily lives. The little secrets the courtsmen would pass between each other, I started gathering in my joker of a mind, to use later on and make light of them, to ridicule those secret keepers. They thought they were being sneaky, well, my friend, Unfortunately for them, I was far sneakier, far wiser, that I outsmarted those sly little devils. But the more I engaged in the secret procuring act, the more morose I started becoming. Before, as a poor peasant, I'd seen noblemen as an utter upper class, the ones with the connection closest to God outside of the king and the church, someone a commoner could only aspire to become. Yet there I was, blending with them, and these court dwellers seem to be just as flawed of individuals, no better than common folk in any regard or aspect, and at times, potentially, even more complicated and perverse. I was brooding over those thoughts in a small room of mine, sitting at my desk and looking out of a tiny window at the ward full of mingling nobles. Oh, my loyal listener, you don't believe me, you don't think every single one of these noble men and fair ladies have a secret or two to hide? I'm sad to inform you, but you're gravely mistaken, my dear, and it's all right. Can't be helped. At first I was confused as well. I have to give you a few examples to help you develop a new perspective on these matters. Inkeep, bring my friend and I a few more goblets of ale, will you? Don't argue with me, my dear. We'll need a few more of these to get through all of the stories I'm about to share with you. You need to keep the good old ale flowing through your body. Raising ruckus is the least of your worries here. King's Secret